Joining me now is Alex Woodyear Sharon. She is the president and CEO at Empress Royalty. Great to see you again, Alex. Great to see you too, Mark. It's been a while. Exactly. And now some of our Red Cloud viewers will be very familiar with Empress Royalty. Some may not be. So if you could just give us a little uh, refresher, if you could, please, on the, the Empress Royalty, Royalty and Streaming model and uh, the, a few of the key assets that you have as well. I'd love to. So Empress Royalty, we offer investors a strategic approach to investing in gold and silver. We are a royalty creation company, which means we help get mines into production or to expand upon production capacity. Um, I think it's pretty good. It would be good now to give an introduction of why, uh, who I am and why we started at Empress. So I started in the mining industry quite young. I worked my way up through the ranks to become director of structured finance at Endeavor Financial. And I team back up with David Rhodes, who's the managing director of Endeavor Financial, also our executive uh, chairman, to launch Empress. And what we were really seeing in the market is that the streaming companies, um, the more established streaming companies, were doing bigger, bigger investment sizes for their streams, and that that streaming financing opportunity was not being offered to the smaller side of the market. And that is why we set up Empress. We knew we could get some highly profitable smaller streams, um, and we've demonstrated that to date. Um, you know, we set up Empress two and a half years ago. We formed a team with mining finance experts. Uh, completed over six billion dollars in multi-jurisdictional transactional experience, and one of the key aspects of setting the team up is we had worked together before with strong relationships, all driven by success. We've invested into the portfolio to date nineteen and a half million dollars, with three uh, key revenue generating investments in the portfolio. We have the Serra Ancipite mine in Peru, and we have a gold stream on that. We have a silver stream on the Talawater project in Mexico, and we have a gold royalty on the Manica project in Mozambique. Um, you know, with those ones, um, we've created a net asset value of $47 million, and we're forecasting some significant revenue over the next five years and, and continuing on from there. And we also have a pipeline of exciting opportunities, which we're valuing at the moment, to further bring value into Empress. Now, Alex, you recently updated the market on your uh, Tahueto project uh, and partnership where your partner has achieved some significant milestones uh, lately. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, no, Talaweto or, or Luca has undergone some significant uh, changes over the last year um, to both the company and the actual project, uh, mine itself, Talaweto. Um, with the appointment of the new CEO, Mike Struthers, and President Ramon Perez, they've really been instrumental in improving the construction um, and turning around the company at Luca. And they recently announced that Talaweto had hit, which is the one that we have the silver stream on, um, um, has reached 500 tons capacity production. Um, that was in June, and that they're hoping to get to the thousand, the second ball mill in place and hit a thousand tons capacity by the end of the year. Um, they also completed a significant financing in June, um, which really will allow them to fund that construction and to get them into production. So with the new management team and the advances they've demonstrated to date, we're very excited for the Talaweto mine to fully ramp up. All right, uh, very good. Now you've also uh, welcomed a new strategic investor in Gleason and Sons. So uh, could you tell us more about them and uh, what would you say drew them uh, toward uh, Empress Royalty? No, um, we're very happy to welcome Stephen Gleason as a shareholder. He's a Charlotte-based entrepreneur who owns several private companies, um, one of them including the metals, uh, the Money Metals Exchange, um, which has it's, uh, a largest, one of the largest precious metals uh, dealers and depositories in North America, over half a half a uh, half, half sorry five hundred uh, million uh, customers and approximately a billion in annual sales. So he's become he's become an active investor in the royalty and streaming space. He discovered Empress and started buying in the market. Um, I had a chance to sit down with him recently and really understand his background and his investment thesis. Um, and that really is finding undervalued royalty companies with low overhead, experienced management teams, and ones that are generating near-term uh, cash flow. So we're excited to welcome uh, Stefan as a shareholder. Um, you know, we also, um, and to support our existing shareholder base, we've got Rick Rule. We did the private placement with last fall. Uh, we have continued support from Smart Asset Management, uh, Terra Capital, U.S. Global, and of course Endeavor Financial, who's one of our largest shareholders. 
All right, Alex, so we're uh, in early October now, or on the cusp of it anyway. Can you take us through the, the rest of the year, some of the, uh, the highlights we can expect into the new year? As our investments continue, our portfolio continues to grow, um, we'll be getting more revenue in from Talawetso, Manica, and uh, uh, Sierra Antipite. So we'll see increased revenue coming into Empress by the end of the year. Um, but we also want to expand the portfolio. I've got several investments, exclusivity on two, that we're evaluating at the moment. We've been through the due diligence. Technically, we're doing the tax and legal reviews. We're in the documentation phase. So if these investments meet our expectations, we're hopeful to bring them to the portfolio soon. Um, we're also working through restructuring of our debt, which we should lower, which should lower our cost of capital, which will allow us to bring new investments to the portfolio without further dilution to shareholders. And lastly, Alex, uh, as you know, and as a lot of investors know, there are many royalty and streaming companies out there, big and small, and somewhere in between. But could you uh, summarize what you've been saying as to the value proposition with Empress Royalty? So we are really driven by bringing revenue into Empress um, and really focusing our financing dollars on the streaming uh, structures so that we can bring revenue and create real value. We launched the company two and a half years ago. We have a diversified portfolio with currently three producing investments. We're forecasting about 50 million in revenue over the next five years, just with those three. Um, again, we've invested 19 and a half million to portfolio. Our net asset value is 47 million US with a market cap of just about 30 million. Um, compared to our pairs and our revenue projections, we're significantly undervalued. When you look at the royalty and streaming sector as a whole, the average price to cash flow uh, ratio for 2024 is about 18 times. So even if you apply half of that uh, multiple to our forecasted revenue for 2024, which is about 10 million, you can see the significant potential for a re-rate of Empress. Well, thank you for the update, Alex. We appreciate it and we'll see you soon. Great, thank you so much, Mark. Alex Woodyear Sharon, she is the president and CEO at Empress Royalty.